Hello and welcome to today's online concert presented by the Southern Illinois University Edwardsville Band Program. I am Ruben Gomez, Director of Bands, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to today's groups. First, we are going to have the University Concert Band directed by Dr. John Korak. And then I will take the baton to lead the SIUE Wind Symphony. As you all know, we are in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has brought many different challenges for everybody around the world, uh, including musicians and music educators of all levels. So before we get into the music, I would like to welcome to the stage our trumpet professor and conductor of the SIUE concert band, Dr. John Korak, who is going to tell us uh, a little bit about these challenges that we have been facing during these months and how we have been able to navigate them and being able to keep playing music together. So please, Dr. Korak. Okay, Dr. Gomez, thank you. Uh, for all of us, uh, life has certainly uh, been altered and uh, certainly for the band program here at SIU Edwardsville, that's no exception. Uh, in our efforts to maintain as much safety as possible for our students, we have chosen to take a couple uh, precautionary measures. And you'll see them as you watch the video of our performance today. Uh, first of all, um, in terms of spacing, in typical wind ensembles, instrumentalists generally like to be relatively close together because it's easier for us to hear one another and to communicate that non-spoken language that musicians need to in order to effectively convey the music that they're performing. But with COVID-19 and our uh, production of aerosols, which can potentially cause uh, contamination if one of us were unfortunate enough to have the virus, we have elected to space ourselves at nine foot intervals. Uh, three feet beyond which was recommended by a national uh, aerosol study uh, of wind players and it is our intention in doing so that we increase the safety measures uh, afforded to our students. So putting the instrumentalists at nine foot intervals makes the band much more expansive on stage. In fact, uh, so large that we are not any longer able to rehearse in our typical uh, rehearsal space. The room is just too small. We would either have to limit the number of players in the group or, or become closer together, which we chose not to do uh, to protect the health of our students and ourselves. And so on the stage, you'll notice, uh, uh, as you're watching, you'll probably be able to tell uh, on the video, you'll see X's on the floors, and the yellow X's are spacing for string instrumentalists who must be at least six feet apart, and then we are positioned over the red-colored X's where we are at nine-foot distances, with the exception of the percussionists who can be closer together because they are not generating uh, aerosols. So spacing is a primary concern for us. And the other concern is the length of the time that we can be together. In order for us to safely rehearse, we generally have about 30 minutes of rehearsal time before we have to leave the room and end our rehearsal, in the case of the concert band, or in the case of the wind symphony, take a break for sectional work and other uh, parts of the building before returning uh, after we've had a change of air, an air exchange in the building, uh, so that they can resume their rehearsals. But our rehearsal time is greatly limited. It's about half of what it normally is. And so what you're going to see is our, at our performance this afternoon, is uh, what we've been able to accomplish in about half the amount of rehearsal time. So a few or less selections, but hopefully no less quality. In fact, I think you'll, you'll agree that the performances from both the concert band and the Wind Symphony are quite strong. For the concert band's portion of our program, we will be performing two works. The first work, written by Pavel Chesnikov, was written as a choral piece 
for the Russian Orthodox Church. It is entitled, Salvation is Created. And it was beautifully transcribed for wind instruments. And I uh, dare say that the wind version is every bit as effective as the original exceptionally beautiful choral version that Chesnikov wrote himself. Once we conclude that piece, we will play a march that Frederick Fennell uh, performed many times in his career at key moments uh, when he was the, named the conductor of the Eastman Wind Symphony. He uh, chose this march as the march that he would do first. Uh, it is a John Philip Sousa march, no surprise there. And it was written in 1890. It was designed to be a concert march rather than an outdoor march. And it is entitled the Corcoran Cadets. It's an exciting march. Every element uh, within the march gives the musicians in the concert band an opportunity to shine in all of its sections. We hope you enjoy the concert band portion of tonight's program. Thank you for watching.
Now it is the time for the SIOE Wind Symphony. Our first piece, an outdoor overture, was composed in 1938 by one of the most important American composers of all time, Aaron Copland. The piece was composed originally for orchestra, but Copland made the band version four years later. The title of the piece reflects its uh, freedom and highly spirit character, which certainly reflects or suggests that the piece works really well for outdoor performances. Paradoxically, the first performance of this piece was made in an indoor venue, which is exactly what we are going to have today. I hope you enjoy with the SIUE Wind Symphony, Aaron Copland's An Outdoor Overture.
We conclude our performance with one of the most iconic pieces in the American wind band repertoire, Suite of All American Dances by Robert Russell Bennett. This piece is structured in five movements, each one reflecting a particular popular dance of the early 20th century that Russell Bennett recalled from his childhood, but also from his frequent visits to an amusement park in Kansas City known as Electric Park, which is, by the way, the original title of this piece. Each movement of this suite is a, is a completely different story, a, a completely a new amount of uh, melodies, harmonies, colors, atmospheres that I hope you will enjoy. So this is our closing piece for today. Uh, I hope you enjoy it by Robert Russell Bennett, Suite of All American Dances. And thank you so much for joining us today.
Thank you.